Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to look at how we can apply this nice bump texture look on this orange to get the kind of look on the orange skin. Now I have already modeled this orange. It's a little bit uh, not really look like an orange, but it's just a model for us to use for now. If you want to model it yourself, you can do that. But if you want to learn how to apply the texture to it, yes, you're welcome to do that as well. I have already exported this uh, orange as an FVX file, so you can just uh, import it into your scene and start working on it. I have put a link in the description for this orange where you can download this uh, orange model to use. So let's start by coming to file to import our model in and go to import and FVX. Go to where you downloaded your file and select your file. Okay, after importing your uh, model into the scene, uh, make sure to delete uh, any other things like a default cube and a camera if you want to. And now we need to apply the uh, orange texture or orange color to the orange and the green to the stock. So first let's apply the green, but before we do that, let's change our preview to the render preview by coming up here and click on the render pre preview. Now let's select our orange and go to um, material property here and select new and change this to orange color. Okay, you can see if it's a uh, little bit orange there. Okay, thank you. And now we need to apply the green to the green stock here. So let's select the stock and apply a new material to it. Let's go down here and just change this one to green as you can see there. Bring the uh, slider down to so make more a little bit darker. Okay, now in our model orange that we have seen in the beginning of this video, uh, there's some nice bump look like the orange skin. How do we get that? It is in the node editor. So let's go to shading here. In the shading, let's try to expand this a little bit up and let's use the principal base shader and in here we're going to add a texture so what is a texture it's the mush grave texture so let's hold on shift a or you can come up here go to texture and mush grave texture simply put that in and the height you select that output into the displacement and when you do that you can see there's some little change to our orange already now, how do we get that little, little nice look? It's, the magic is on the scale and the detail. So we increase the scale to 100. And when we do that, you can see it's already did something to our orange. So you can all, uh, increase it up to 100. That's whatever number you want, as long as it's above 100. And the detail, there is the magic in the detail as well. We want to decrease the detail down to 0 0.008. So 0 0.008. And when we do that, look at it. it gives us some nice shiny detail on the skin of the orange. We need to control the orange skin using the bright and contrast. So let's go to add that, shift A. Go to color and bright contrast. Now let's slide it in. And when we do that, you can see it smoothens some of the face of the skin of the orange. Now the contrast, the more contrast you go to the positive, you will get a smooth skin. You go to negative, you get a rough skin. So let's use negative 1.8. And we have this nice look orange thing here um, you can also go down a little bit more uh, negative 1.5 okay yeah I think this is looks nice for me and you change the brightness to 0.5 to give more a little bit uh, brighter to this uh, orange uh, maybe change the brightness to zero, uh, negative 0 0.6 so it looks more a little bit there. Now in the um, roughness, we can decrease the roughness down so it makes it more a little bit shiny. Nice the roughness in the um, principal base shader. Thank you for watching. This is the end of this tutorial. And if you have learned something from this tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel 
and also hit the bell icon so that uh, when we upload new videos you'll be notified. Thank you again and see you all next time.